Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do another video, this time on the wireless gaming speaker. And you might be asking yourself, well, what was the brand? Listen, the box says wireless gaming speaker. So as we unbox this thing, we're going to try to find out what the name brand is. Of course, this is another five below product. But without further ado, let's hop into the review. All right, so first thing, let's pop this open. Now I did already cut these tabs, but this will be the first time that I'm looking at the speaker along with you guys. So let's check out this build quality and see what this bad boy actually comes with. All right, so wow. So this is the speaker right here. Um, let's put this to the side for a moment. This is the packaging. When I pulled it out, the speaker goes on each end, of course, to keep it sitting in one spot so it won't get damaged during transportation. This is micro USB like usual. So unfortunately you're not gonna have USB-C. But you gotta remember a lot of these speakers are previously micro USB speakers that were probably left over in a warehouse and you know wholesale and five below gets them. It's a lot of process that goes through it. Here's basic instructions. Doesn't really tell you much except how to LED charge, volume button, blah, 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 light switch. Okay, so let's go over this together since we're here. First, let's take a look at the speaker, then we'll hop right into what it can actually do. So first things first, looks like you have your volume down in previous songs. So volume up, I'm sorry, volume up, I said all backwards. Volume down, volume up right here, play, pause, um, and power key. So if you, let's see, if you hold it, it should change the song, I believe. If you hold it backwards, it should change the song. And if you tap it up and down, that's volume up and down. Or it could be vice versa. We're going to double check that in real time also on a different part of the video. This is the power button. Actually, no. Correction. Yep, that's the power button. Power button's right here. And this back here is actually the, the light button. So I wasn't expecting that. So, so what happens is, oh, also micro USB in the back. I thought this was the on button, but apparently it's not. So the on button doubles down as the play button. So you hold this power button to power the speaker on. Apparently, it looks like you can use the speaker without the lights on. So for those that can't stand the lights at night, which I know I had some videos previously where, you know, certain Bluetooths could not turn a light off. They stayed on. With this particular one, it looks like you should be able to turn this on without the light. And if you just want the light on, which is a switch right here, as you can see. You just turn that on and it looks like it just changes colors. I think they said up to eight colors, I believe. I'm not too sure if this thing has sequence or a particular, you know, solid color, like you can leave it a certain way. But we're going to go ahead and find out in a moment what it can do. But anyway, if we're talking about the build quality and that's what this part of this video is about. It feels very, very cheap. And what I mean by that is if you look at the buttons, you can't really see it on this angle. But hopefully you can if I angle it like this kind of for the camera. These buttons are a little sunken in where it feels a little uneven, like uh, like it should be, uh, I'm not going to say a strip, but the strip underneath this where you hit the buttons should be a, just a little bit higher to kind of even out the three buttons. But of course, that could just be a particular model that I have. I don't know, but that's not life or death. You do have these little strips on the bottom. So when it sits on something, it can actually sit in the same spot without sliding. Also, it won't scrape at the bottom. Um, the plastic really does feel cheap. I have to be honest with you. Very, very cheap feeling plastic. And I'm not too sure what's going on in the back right here where you see this hole. Let me pull that up in the camera. It's like the speakers right here. But dust could easily just go inside of this hole in the back. I don't know why it's like that. Most speakers have this area covered. Maybe this has something to do with the colors or maybe this has, no, I doubt that. Maybe this has something to do with the sound is what I'm guessing because of the design. But we're going to go ahead and see how that is. Anywho, this is a very cheap speaker. Um, it, it, it's, it's not that it feels cheap. It's just that it has that cheap aesthetic look to it where you could definitely tell yeah, this is five dollars. <laughs> At one point, it might have been ten or twenty back in the day, but given the the uh, how many types of speakers that we have nowadays and what you can get for super cheap, 
on Amazon or just even FYE to this day, it's still open. You can get some pretty cheap speakers. That's probably why this is being sold for $5. But at any rate, let's hop into the next section. And so we can really, really determine how well this thing sounds with real usage. All right, so fun fact, I forgot to mention this in the first part of the video. The battery life for this particular headset is three hours, which again, is not very good for Bluetooth speakers of any day and age, to be honest with you. I think the standard for cheaper speakers should be at least five to eight hours. And we're just talking about cheaper speakers, while other speakers like Anchor brand and higher end can last for 20, 30 hours, things like that. That should be the norm. I understand that you're looking at this price point, but also what you guys need to understand too is that let's look at this objectively. This headset was made long before it got to five below. If we're being realistic, this is not a new product. Now, granted, it might be new inside the box, but this was circulated somewhere because no one's making USB C, uh, USB speakers without USB C in this day and age. It's just not happening anymore. And the fact that it's circulating certain stores means that, like I said, with the whole wholesaling process, um, long story short, these speakers used to cost more than five dollars or six bucks. So with the battery life, it just amazes me that how far we've come with a particular product. Especially given the fact that uh, stuff like this was sold for tw probably $20, $30 at one point. But anywho, like I was saying before, the battery life, I don't want to bear off too far. The battery life on this is three hours. And that, even with the instructions or in a box, as a matter of fact, it, it'll literally tell you uh, different environmental conditions will affect playtime. So if you have this up to full blast, if you have this in a setting where you're listening to videos or... or uh, Netflix or just just streaming, you're going to have a different battery life based on the conditions of how loud the speaker is. Also, in the condition of whether you're using that battery, not the battery, the uh, colors in the front that will affect your battery life. Now, unfortunately, it will take three hours to actually charge it. So the, the you could get actually get a less use out of this, and the charge could be more, could be longer to charge it than it is the actual use you get out of it. Of course, that comes in the territory with speakers with five below. Sometimes you get eight hours, 10 hours. I've had speakers that were amazing in the past. Unfortunately, I wasn't doing YouTube back then, and they don't really sell them now. But it was the 10 below section when it kind of first opened up. I know, I'm showing my age. I was, I was there when it opened up. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and power this thing on. Okay, so it is on. So the good thing, like we talked about a moment ago, is... Oh, and it actually called, if you see it right here, Gaming Speaker. So that's actually what it's called, believe it or not. Wireless Gaming Speaker. That's what it's called. That's what you get, right? <laughs> that's weird. But I'll take the name, whatever. And let's put this, just for aesthetic reasons, let's put this on. It looks a lot more pleasing than just having nothing on right now. So again, what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pull this up. Use some YouTube-friendly music. Let's talk during the video so you can actually hear how loud this thing gets. It's not at the loudest, of course, but I'll show you in a second. I need a little beat to drop. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Not bad. And if I press this, does it change it? Okay. Sounds frizzy. All right, so I got what I needed to know. So, the speaker does get pretty loud, but first let's talk about these buttons before we do anything. What I instantly notice is that when you press the button, remember we talked about earlier in a video where I had to figure out what was what. If you press the button once to go forward or you press the button once to go back, it'll change the video or song, whatever it is. On YouTube, it'll change videos. and your music player or Spotify, it'll change the song. If you hold it, then that will actually... Uh, change the volume up and down. Now, what I will say about the speaker, just from listening to it, now, granted, I can't really blast it. I am currently in a small office, and there are people, not necessarily around me, it's pretty early in the morning, but I don't want to just go around blasting music. Now, for the little sample that you heard, 
This speaker has volume. I'll give it that. It does have volume, actually decent volume. The problem is that if you're looking for that bass or that umph, you're not going to get it out of this speaker. Now, there are other products on my channel that I reviewed from Five Below, specifically Five Below, that have better umph, better bass. Though this one has might have louder sound, it's all about what it is that you're looking for in a speaker. Again, the fact that this has a three-hour battery life, um, I don't see anyone really using this for longevity reasons. Like if you're watching a movie and I guess people use things for that, like watching a movie and you just want like surround in the background. This doesn't have surround sound. This doesn't have any special sound profiles. This doesn't even have a mode to change your sound or anything. There's no added features. There's no radio. The other speakers I did had SD card slots. Doesn't have any of that. This is strictly a Bluetooth with a 1200 mAh battery, which is baffling that it only lasts for three hours. Now, other than that, like, like I said, other than that, it's, it's not bad. Like I'm never going to sit here and bash a product being the price set of that. You can't expect too much out of a five, six dollar speaker. To be honest, when I first found the speaker was in a little section of 10 below. Remember, everyone's five below is different. You might be at a five below where they just sell, have a shelf of things that might cost 10, 15 dollars. While I, since I'm in Philadelphia, the particular five below that I go to, which is downtown, I'll just say if a market doesn't hurt, especially if people are in Philadelphia, they'll know. Or if you're visiting, you'll know exactly where I went to get some of the products. They have an actual 10 below section or they call it something different now. But it's a section with a product of ten dollars and up. This was in there, but it was labeled five bucks, five ninety five, I believe. Let me check the box to give you guys. Yep, five ninety. Can you see that in the video? You're five ninety five. So the thing is, when you get these speakers, we know what they're for. It's just temporary speakers for instead of you having to buy expensive ones. Sure, it'll do the job. But if you're looking for that super bass. You're, you, you like rock music, heavy metal, um, rap. I don't really suggest a speaker for that in terms of uh, bass, of course. Now, and if you're just looking for just a loud speaker so you don't have to use your phone or stress your phone speaker, because that does happen. A lot of people use their phone speakers and your speaker can blow out or degrade over time. That's just like things degrade. When you buy electronics, they don't get better over time. They degrade. Um, I don't have issue with the sound. It's actually not bad, but again, it's not going to be that rich, super clear sound that you normally hear with other speakers. It's not going to have bass. It just has volume. So just be aware of that when you purchase this particular product. So the last question we have to ask ourselves is, well, you saw the title. Is it worth it? Is it worth a buy? Yes, it is. And no, it's not. Yes, it is on a simple fact that I'll answer both those questions just so you know. I should price it that first. It is worth it to a certain extent because it's a cheap speaker. It's affordable. I don't know other people's circumstances. And what I do notice about most people is that they're not necessarily looking for the newest, best sounding thing out. Sometimes they just want something that gets them to point A to point B and they're happy with that. And there's nothing wrong with that mind state if you're getting this for someone. Obviously, you should want the best for yourself, but the best doesn't always mean the most expensive. Let me say that now because there's people that don't seem to understand that the best does not mean the most expensive. You can find gems anywhere and it doesn't have to say Apple on it. It doesn't have to say Samsung. It doesn't have to say Anchor. It doesn't have to say Skull Candy. Sometimes a product is just good. And when you realize that, hold on to that product. Name brands is not everything, though it does make a huge difference if you're dealing with speakers. It does help to differentiate what you should and what you shouldn't get. But realistically, you're always taking a bargain with whatever it is that you buy. But again, uh, if you've watched this channel, I had the Anchor Pill. That thing had beautiful bass. It had extra bass. That thing was a monster. And when you compare it to something like this, that's an $80, $100 product. This is a $5.95. So it's a huge way off. Like we're talking, that guy, that that's over. Wow, that's cheap. That's like a 90 percent difference. I don't know the exact percentile, but that's over a 90 percent percentile difference, I think, in price or something. Or I forget the exact math. I'm probably thinking of 100 bucks is over like 95 percent difference. But anyway, the point is, is that this isn't bad for what it is. It has this little LED lights, which are optional for those that buy speakers from five below like me and just want to test them out. 
Remember, it's optional to completely turn this off. So thank God in the middle of the night, you won't see something flashing in your face, blinding you. So that's a good thing. Uh, like I said, it doesn't have any special modes. If you hold a button down, nothing happens except for volume up if you hold it. Did I turn this off? One moment. No, I didn't. As a matter of fact, when this comes on, you'll see. Let me just double check and make sure this too. Because a lot of people used to ask, uh, how do you know if it's charging or how do you know if it's on? Yep, so if it's on, this blue, the blue light will come on. And when you turn it off, you hold it, light off. And you'll hear that noise and know doo -doo -doo -doo, that is off. So very simple process. But anyway, let's get back to this last part. It's not bad. Like, again, I wouldn't necessarily use this for myself because of the, uh, the mass amount of speakers that I accumulated just from doing this channel. <laughs> but uh, for someone that's starting off, they want some speakers. You can plug this up to a wall, listen to your music while it's charging, things like that. It's not bad. Remember, you don't have to play this for three hours straight. You can have this charged while you're playing a game or listen to music, whatever it is that you're doing. You're playing Call of Duty on your phone. You don't want to hear your phone speaker. You use this. Even the lag latency isn't bad. Where I have, I didn't have issues where um, I'd watch a video. Well, I did actually use this playing Call of Duty on my phone. I just don't have that shown right now because it's not really going to do much. But I didn't have a lag latency where I shoot someone and then the, the sound popped up later on. I didn't have any issues. It, it actually did a pretty good job. Outside of it just looking cheap. Like it reminds me of like an alarm clock from the angle that I'm looking at it right here. It looks like an alarm clock from how I'm looking at it. But it's it's pretty cool. Like it's, it's, a, it's a decent size because aesthetics and, and physicalities do matter. Especially when you're picking out gifts for other people or for yourself. Um, if someone opens this and they use it and you have like a... a Different things from five below all at the same time. Light up keyboards, light up speakers, light up this, microphones, this and that. I think that makes a pretty cool care package for someone, and I don't think they'll be mad about it. And even if they know where it came from, I, people are a lot more simpler than what we think. It's all about what they get, what they need, what you get for them, and how much they appreciate it. It's not always about the price, because you could buy someone these ugly Balenciaga sneakers, and guess what? If the person's not appreciative, they're not going to be appreciative. So, you know, it is what it is. But I, I do suggest getting it on that aspect of us talking about this is a $6 speaker and it does perform pretty well. I just wish the battery life was a lot better. But on the other hand, if you have the money for better speakers, you should probably look elsewhere. Now, what I am going to do is probably do some $20, $30 speakers like J Labs and a few others to kind of give you guys an idea of high end speakers mid-tier and then low end this is low end category and if you can use this and be happy or satisfied then when we go to that mid-tier you're gonna be like oh wow this is pretty good but anyway that's the video um like subscribe all that fun stuff i know youtube is changing well definitely like and subscribe primarily for the youtube algorithm so this video pops up for more people to see and also suggest it to others and if you want to have a question let's talk about it in the comment section take care and i'll see you guys in the next one